Hello, my name is Paul Carter. I'm a safety testing specialist here at DECRA Process Safety UK. Welcome to the Chemical Process Evaluation CPE Laboratory. Here we study chemical reaction processes in order to help clients provide a safe plant operation. The core chemical reaction hazard tests are designed to simulate reactions under normal, controlled plant conditions, but also thermal stability assessment and simulation of runaway events occurring during worst case scenarios. It is a combination of data from these tests and interpretation that delivers a DECRA report with results and recommendations for safe plant conditions. Data provided within these reports can also be used for plant design such as vent sizing and vessel cooling capacity requirements. Safe handling and storage temperatures of raw materials, intermediates and products can also be studied. These videos will show you some of the staff working in the lab and the test instruments that we use. Thank you. Hello, my name is Carolina and I'm the team leader of the CP lab. I would like to talk to you about VSP. VSP stands for Vent Sizing Package and is a, a diabetic test used to study worst case scenarios. The VSP results are scalable to plant conditions. The test gives direct measurement of time, temperature and pressure that can be used for vent sizing calculations on runaway reactions and decompositions. Reaction is performed in 110 ml cell that is placed inside heater assembly and in containment vessel. We can measure data up to 350 degrees or 100 bars. Hello, my name is Elizabeth and I'm a lab technician in the CPE lab. I'm going to talk about the carriers test. The carriers is used as a screening test to identify exothermic activity, gas generation and vapour pressure effects. The testing is carried out on reagents, reaction intermediates or final products to provide guidance on onset temperatures and magnitudes of exotherms or endothermic activity. The sample is charged to a glass tube and then ramped from ambient to 400 degrees using a linear ramp of half a degree a minute. We also do variants on this testing, such as isothermal holds, for the study of gas evolution over long durations. Hello, I am Adelia. I am a lab technician in CPE lab. I would like to introduce you the accelerating rate calorimeter. This system is an effective screening tool used to determine the thermal stability of a substance under adiabatic conditions. The test is conducted in a small spherical cell containing between 3 and 5 grams of sample. The temperature profile allows us to determine the onset temperature of an exothermic reaction or descomposition, kinetics and magnitude of the runaway. Time to maximum rate can often be analyzed for calculating a TD24 value. Results are generally not directly scalable to plant reactors, but give a good overview of the behavior of a material of elevated temperatures. Hello, my name is Dr. Charles Baker. I'm a laboratory scientist in the CPE lab. I would like to talk to you about the adiabatic Dewar calorimeter. This test is used to simulate worst case scenarios and the results are scalable to plant conditions. The test gives direct measurement of time, temperature and pressure that can be used for vent sizing calculations on runaway reactions and decompositions. A reaction is performed in a 1 litre stainless steel vacuum flask sited in an oven system. We can measure temperature up to 350 degrees C or pressure up to 25 bar. Hello, my name is Michael and I'm a laboratory technician in the CPE lab. I'm going to talk to you about the coning tube test. The coning tube test allows us to determine the sensitivity of a material to heating under confinement via a well-defined set of standard parameters. The data obtained is then used for either formal classification for transportation purposes or for an evaluation of the hazard posed by handling the material. By using a range of orifice plates, the degree of confinement of the sample is altered in order to obtain a quantitative result in the form of a limiting diameter. I'm going to talk to you about the Differential Scanning Calorimeter, also known as DSC. The DSC system can be used to provide thermal stability information on starting material, final product or reaction mixture using a temperature ramp screening test technique. 
This test allows us to determine the onset temperature of any exothermic events and the total energy associated with those events. This information can help determine whether a sample needs further testing, for example, explosive properties or self-reactive tests, and for thermal stability assessment, we generally use a sealed high-pressure cell. Hello, my name is Flora Michala, and I'm lab tech down junior lab technician in CP and RT lab. This is the friction test. It, the purpose of the test is to determine whether a substance uh, presents a danger of uh, explosion when submitted to the effect of the friction. It can be used from transport classification or ensuring safe plants handling. The method yields quantitative results in the form of limited loads. Maximum force of uh, 360 newton can be applied. The positive results are uh, explosion, flames or flash. And uh, if this limiting uh, energy is if this limiting energy is sufficiently low, it is classed as too dangerous to transport in the form in which it's tested. The full hammer is part of the explosives testing series and can be used for transport classification or for ensuring safe plant handling. The sample is charged between two metal pins and the impact device, which is this, is dropped onto the sample. Observations range from no reaction through to an explosion, which can be um, a loud ignition or sparking. If the limiting energy is sufficiently low, it is classed as too dangerous to transport in the form of which it was tested. Hi, I'm Gordon Amory. I'm the process safety specialist in the CPE lab. This is our Metler RC1 reaction calorimeter, which is used to measure the total heat evolved, accumulation, and the rate of heat evolution from chemical reactions. It allows us to calculate the temperature rise that could occur if control were to be lost while performing the reaction. This temperature rise could lead to boiling of the reaction mixture or in the worst case, thermal decomposition of one or more of the components. Gas volume and rates can also be measured. Virtually any chemical reaction can be simulated and the results can be used for ensuring cooling capacity on plants is adequate. Combining this data with thermal stability testing helps provide confidence in plant safety.